Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I am in a hotel room in Amsterdam on my first business trip as a qualified lawyer, which is very, very exciting. However, that's beside the point. As I was sat in this room, I realized that I look and feel like the result of my excuses and i know that's very dramatic a lot of you would have followed me because i was posting content about from london law student to future tech lawyer trying to get a training contract working through fintech and legal tech finally doing the lpc after getting a training contract doing the tech training contract and hopefully qualifying and i think throughout that I lost myself a little bit because I was chasing something that you're supposed to do or you should feel great about achieving which don't get me wrong we all worked really hard to get where we get to in certain aspects of our lives but I realized this dream that I had to become a lawyer was 15 year old Lorraine's dream who was probably trying to replace this achievement with a sense of feeling belonging or accepted or loved i know that's very deep for a career chat and maybe one for another day but it made me realize that throughout this journey i think i'd lost a little part of myself that didn't allow me to just be and be free because i've come to like constrain myself on what i should and shouldn't do and who i should be and i think that was just a subconscious Thing that happened over time and not purposefully because I was kind of pursuing this thing. Now I'm at the stage where I realized who is Lorraine? Who are you? Who am I beyond the nine to five? What am I after 40 hours? What am I building? What am I achieving? And what am I working towards? Now I'm not talking about like that kind of toxic productivity where you're always on the go, but really what fuels my soul? And I think that's where I'm at. And I think you will probably see it in my content as well. You'll probably know if you kind of followed me for that content. I'm not the most consistent person. And I think that was because I was literally living out this fear of I should appear as this person or this kind of content and that actually stopped me just from being free and being me but one thing i've come to accept lately is very obvious the but we're all very multifaceted and there's so many different parts to us that it's okay to be many things at once and that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing for example i like no no I love food, I love trying new things, I like experimenting, I like uh, finding new cultures and new cuisines, I love art, I love museums, I'm such a nerd about museums, Rembrandt, Caravaggio, Old Masters, that's my vibe, I could spend hours in a museum and art gallery and I find it really interesting learning about all these techniques etc. I love music, all kinds of music. I miss singing jazz because I loved Ella Fitzgerald, I love writing, I used to write fantasy fiction. If you can find it online, you get a gold star, you know? All these things make up the sum of who I am. And I think for so long, I had abandoned them. So this era of content is going to be me rebuilding myself one post at a time. And yeah, just showing the journey of you can be more than one thing and still be good. Our achievements don't always have to be a specific title or a specific achievement. The achievement is actually just being authentically you. And I know that's, you know, feels cheesy, feels obvious, but that's the stage I'm at in life. Who am I beyond the 40 hours? And what legacy am I building for myself, but my future children, if ever I choose to have any? And yeah, there is no plan, but I will be showing up as not that I wasn't showing up as me before, but I'm going to allow myself the freedom and the space to just be. So, buckle in, cowboys. Sorry, I've just watched a documentary on Netflix about the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, so now I'm slanging. But I need to check out now, otherwise I'll start getting charged. Here's to the next video. Thank you for listening. Working night is fun. I hope this mic is working. Feels alright. Was I recording?